Welcome back everybody, it's me GST, back again with some more In Stars and Time We are finally at the king We have the key knife I think Yes We're ready I should have probably come and done this scenario a little more Just so that I could get more cooking stuff out of Bonnie To see if I could figure out what their last favorite food is I think we chose Malanga on this one However, maybe, maybe, did I save it on a different one close to? I think I did. I think I did. We could do this. You know what? We're going to come back. King must be up ahead. Are you ready? Uh, not yet. Now I am. Ready. All right. Go. Ugh. Oh, yeah, we can ask the king something or other, I guess. Hey. Uh, uh, young ones, are you here to kill me? Young lady, stand for change themselves. Do not. I, I. I just want the world to stay the way it is now, to be frozen in eternal beauty. A world of everlasting peace and rest, young housemaiden, in a way, isn't my wish a form of change. Why aren't you on my side? Ah, uh, can't you feel it, young lady? The universe yearns for everyone's hopes to be encased in limitless ice. Would you allow your fate to be ended? Corrupting and ending people's lives? You call this a form of change? You dare compare your dreams of ice and stillness to change themselves? This is not cha true change. This is just you acting as a god would for your own satisfaction. One would think keeping a whole country from changing and evolving is the farthest thing away from change. Pretty self-explanatory, stupid! Seems like a pretty pathetic way to appeal to a housemate's good nature, huh? Is this what you want, then? For us to peacefully let ourselves to be frozen in time? I'll never be on your side, King. Not in a million years! Uh, huh. Spoken like a true housemaiden of change. But, wait. You, traveler. Odal looks at you with an expression, screaming, does he mean you or me? You look back at the king. Right one. Do you remember? Remember what? Ha! Huh, what do I... Oh, well, we, we don't say that. Do you? I remember you. I remember you. Is that so? We shall fight. And we shall see which side the universe favors! Oh man, maybe I should have picked the other one. Maybe I should have picked the other one. The key, the knife key glows. You're more powerful. Your attacks will hit harder against the king. What?! Zone out for this part? Yeah. You've heard this before. Get ready, everyone! King. Finally managed to beat him last time. But you still have so many questions. Why is he freezing for guard in time? Does this power have anything to do with the time loops you're stuck in? If you ask him something, will he answer? Fine. You can now ask the king questions by going into your craft menu. The things I let you do, Stardust, I swear. He's so fast! Uh, we wanna... Ask. Wait, what the hell? Oh, yeah, okay, we got... I thought that was a new one, that's not. Ask. The king. Ask the king. Flower for you? 
What's your goal? Oh, my goal? Sif, does it matter? It doesn't! Your reasons don't matter at all! But they might. Why do you want to freeze regard in time? Zephrin? Oh, oh! Can't you guess? Can't you tell? Those stars. I thought my intentions were clear. But no one seems to understand. We don't know. We don't understand you. Why would you want to make an entire country suffer? And expect everyone to be okay with it? There must be a reason. Why would you freeze regard in time? And only regard for that matter. That's true. No other country has been attacked. A power like yours, you could freeze more than just for guard. But stopped at the borders. Other countries are safe. Why? Oh. Oh! Because Vogard is perfect. Perfect? Such welcoming, creative people. Always willing to welcome travelers in. Even travelers with no name. Always willing to welcome... Blah, blah, blah. No home to speak of. Such precious memories. It is perfect. Hold up! I have a theory. Let's let this roll though. I do not want it to change. I want it to stay exactly how it is. So it cannot ever be destroyed. That's so... Backwards thinking. I don't know what about Vogard made it perfect for you. You cannot stop us from living. Hmm. Ask the king. Are you the one doing this to me? Oh. Oh! Doing this. Stars, you don't want to explain it in front of everyone. But the king could be the one trapping you in time. The one imprisoning me here. Huh? Imprisoning you. Whatever is happening to you. I am not the one responsible, bright one. But that scent around you, could it be? It does not matter. It doesn't seem to know what you're talking about. So the king isn't the one responsible for the loops? Isn't that weird? You're looping through time. He's freezing it. Aren't you using the same power? Power over time? Ask the king. How are you freezing people in time? Huh. Sif, could, could have told you that one if you asked. It's timecraft, buddy. Timecraft. You've heard this before. Timecraft. The ability to craft time itself. But timecraft is supposed to be impossible to control. How can you use it, let alone do it as such a grand scale? Ha! Ha! Oh, hi. If the bright one isn't bright enough to know of timecraft, they will not be bright enough to understand how. Ouch. Don't... Don't be mean a friend! Shut up! Timecraft. That's something to look into, isn't it? Either way, it doesn't seem like he's the one trapping you here. Since you're here, it might be worth it to beat the king now so you couldn't go talk to the head housemaiden. She said something before. About how you're looping. And about something being broken. She knew something. After that, you have to find more information about Timecraft somewhere. And you can always go back and fight the king if you have anything else to talk about. Ask the king. Ah, flower for you! You offer the bright flower to the king. What? Seafrin! Uh, Sif? I don't know how it works where you're from, but in regard, we only give flowers to people we, um, actually like. I remember that you can give flowers to whoever you want, as long as they're... Important. Friends. Family. Rivals. Enemies. The king takes a step forward and gently takes the flower from your hand. 
bright one. No matter how this battle ends, will you remember me? Yes. <sighs> Let us make this battle a moment truly worth remembering then. Ask the king. I ain't got nothing else for you. Slice and dice him up. Do something. Uh, what else we got? Uh, I think we're gonna... King's Rock, right? I think we gotta just do rose printed glasses. We still have speed. Nice. We do pretty... Oh, we gotta do the mega... No, no, we gotta do Dorbola. Moving skilled. Just in case. I forgot. I forgot. That is a huge one. Uh, we're going to also... Lower your defense. King waits. We're going to slow you down. We're going to... Make up for the lost time. And now... We got to... Pretty Buffy Friend. Everybody's gonna get supercharged! Hit him! Nice! Hit him again! Paper A5! Oh! Hit him again! With a paper A2. Bam! Mm. Oh. Oh! The king cries and cries and cries. What? Tears appear to protect the king. Why? Why don't you understand? Why don't you understand? Crying still, huh? Glad you're expressing your emotions and everything. Very healthy, but learn to read the room. Stop crying. Stop crying! Stop, stop crying! You can't! You hurt so many people! People who won't ever move again unless we beat you! Bogard, my village, my sister! You're- they're all frozen in time because of you! You don't have the right to cry! The king doesn't answer. What? Was it always this easy to fight the king? Bonnie missed. Wait, what happened? We can't ask anymore, right? No, this is not even... Okay. Artsy... Doodad thingy. Nice. We're going to do that for you, because I want your cooldowns back. I might have done that out of turn time, though. Oh, oh, it is time, saviors. It's the vision of the future. Hello? Oh, my God. I just had it on the ugh, crafted water. Wait, can we save this? We might be able to save this. Hold on, I need to think. We have our thing back. We don't need the adorable moving cure right now. I can bring them all back if I can get two paper attacks off. So what I need to do is We'll bring you back. You don't want to fight anymore. Nice, Bonnie. We do artsy thingy mid Bob. Nice. One more. There. Bring my people back. Nice. Shaw! You don't have the strength to go on. Well, I mean... The king... Got you again. You'd forgotten the pain. But... At least... You can move a little... This time. Stars, it hurts. It hurts. It 
hurts, it hurts, it hurts. You try to speak. Bonnie. Run away. Silence. And then footsteps. Come on, you useless body. Move! Bonnie ran away. Bonnie must be safe now. And so, before the king strikes, you let go. I don't like that. I don't like that. What happens if you quit? No, you cannot quit. We won't quit. I wanted to beat him so I could get to the head house maiden. Ah, I threw off all my stuff, man. Damn it. We could go back. We could go back and try it again. Or we could go back here because we have some new info, right? I think this might be beneficial. To come here because we're, all, we're we can go all the way back anyway we're gonna have to but we have some new stuff let's loop back you're back you remember Odile she couldn't move was facing away from you it's always facing away from you she can never move then can she she can't protect any of you can't protect herself can't even think about it what face is she making during those final moments? Back to it. Nah, I need the help. Oh. You wish you could sleep here for a while. We're on a schedule. Let's go, hero. Uh, you, yeah. I'll save it. I'll save it. We don't have the... The favorite food yet, though. Ugh. That means we have to go to floor th three. Memory of pew pew. No, no. Zephyrin, you're up here again. You like to make sure Mirabelle doesn't get upset, but is there any way to make this conversation go faster? Something like, Hey, Mira, have you thought about doing a sleepover tonight? Oh! I was actually just thinking about it. What do you think? Absolutely. I'll let everyone know. You're right. We don't have a moment to lose. Wait, do you know where everyone... Talk to you later, Mira. Uh, okay? You tell Mirabelle about the care method so she can learn that one skill. W wait, how did you know about... And wink. Uh, okay. Mirabelle learned the craft skill adorable moving shield. You watch her go. Bye. Hey, you. Hmm. Hum. Sing softly. Do we have anything new that you can give me? Go oh, dial. Isn't that because her sister went to? Stop thinking about it. The sister must have went to that island that had the problem. Alright, we don't need to- Oh wait, we can get another skill point! You touch the statue like the most, and close your eyes. You breathe in and out. Crouching down, you whisper and ask for speed, please. It's what you want. You actually feel a little faster. You do your sidesteps and can tell they come easier than usual. You and your allies' attack speed went up. Close your eyes, your single eye. Say that. Thank you. Alright. We didn't get any new open phrases. We can do a little fishing. I'm fishing. I like to fish for a bit. Hell yeah. Ah. Best part of this game. You know nothing will bite, and yet, you fish. Whoa! Did we get something? Something is tugging on your line. What? Oh, stars! Fish! Fish! Reel it in, quick! You both struggled to reel in a fish you had no idea would come. But after a while... You got a fish! 
It's alive, still flapping its gills uselessly. Oh crab. You... You actually caught something. Is this river? You both look at the fish. It's pitifully trying to survive. Trying to breathe in air. Put it back. You throw the fish back in the water. You both look as the fish swims away downstream. Interesting. <laughs> Thank you. You nod. Good luck tomorrow. You nod again and walk away. Hello? What the hell was that? Why did that change? Was it because of what we did with the king? Is time slipping? Slipping? Pew. Interesting. Can I help you with anything? Do you, I need help with anything? Are you this bored, Seafren? Seems really you're generally asking. Ah, oh, well. I'm looking for a certain type of book. Not a specific book. No, not a specific book. It's a type of book called a family tale. Have you heard of those? Oh, I've heard the boulangerie has one of those. What? 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 Huh? Really? She doesn't seem to know how to react. You look at her repeat the same words over and over. Seafren, will you come with me to ask them if I can borrow it? It might... It takes some time. So make sure you have time to help me. I have time now. We saved. Thank you. Let's go then. You and Odell are hanging out now. You should head to the boulangerie. Hell yes! Just me and OD. Let's go and do the boulangerie with OD. Hey there. Hello. We've heard you ha may have a family tale? A family tale? Of a family called Paperasse. If you'd be okay with it, I'd like to borrow it for a wh little while. Ah, the one I borrowed for my girl before the house rose. I'm not a very good writer. <laughs> so I figured reading another one would give me some inspiration for stories to tell my little girl. Do you have it still? I... Do not. What? Do you know Antoine, maybe? He lives at the east of town, in the house with no flowers. Asked if he could borrow it. They knew the Piperasse family, you see. I couldn't really refuse. The Piperasse family died only a few years back, after all. Well, that sucks. Do you know if he still has it now? I don't see why they wouldn't. I have a sudden bad feeling about this. The house to the east of the village with no flowers, huh? Looks like we should go pay them a visit. Let's go! Me and Odie! Best buddies. You got anything to say about me and my best but Oh, madam, oh, no, what? On a secret quest again? Again, huh? Oh, sorry. I feel like I've seen you two go on secret quests very often. Like... Literally every time we stayed in a town or a village, Isabel and I always wondered where you were going. Oh, that's right. You and Odile often used to visit antique shops every time you went to a new place. Either of you ever asked what the other was looking for? Come to think of it, she was probably looking for a family tale. Are you two betting on it? On what our secret quests are about? Oh, I would never bet on anything. It goes against my moral code, madame. But Isabel will read a horror book of my choice if my guess is right. <laughs> oh no, you're not going to tell me what your secret quests were about now that I've said we're betting on it. Well, see you later, Mirabelle. No! No, come back! <laughs> Should we talk to everybody then? Hell. Hello, no time to talk. Have a good day. Um, bye then? 
Memory of PPU. PPU! I'm fishing. I see that. Caught anything recently? <laughs> maybe I have, maybe I haven't. Thanks, that was very helpful. We should talk to everybody. You want to see my favorite spot? To hang out in? There's no need to go there right now, is there? Apparently not. The woman is daydreaming, singing softly under her breath. Please don't make us talk to everyone in Dormal, Seafren. Please! No need to go there right now. Apparently not. Apparently not! Odell is out of breath. Ugh. <sighs> Sounds like someone needs to do some more exercise. Curse you and your legs. Spoken like someone who prioritized her brain over her body for decades and decades. No answer for that one, huh? Balance is what is needed. There's no need to go there right now. Apparently not. Hey! Wanna play rock, paper, scissors? No. Ugh. Another lost soul who won't play against me! Apparently not. Can we go this way? <gasps> if we talk to- Hey! Wait- Oh! Uh. Wait! They're not- Favor tree, huh? Quite an interesting tradition, isn't it? You shrug. Isabeau's not here. Does that mean Isabeau's up top? Can we go up top, maybe? Will you let me do that? You will! Isabeau! Oh ho ho! You guys look- Thick as thieves as usual. Are you on a secret quest again? Indeed we are. Good for you! Nothing like a secret quest to make life worth living. Ah, uh, I'm so jealous. I'd love to go on a secret quest too. Let's go on a secret quest w before we part ways, yeah? Oh, I'd love to. A secret quest with you could be fun, Isabeau. Huh? Oh, with you, Madame Odell? Y yeah! That's exactly what I meant. I definitely meant going on a secret quest with you because you are also standing right here. Yes. Please don't look at me. Uh-huh. Have fun, you two. Madame. Hello. Hello, nice to talk to you. Goodbye. Uh, oh, okay. Okay, I like it. I like it. We got ourselves a little secret quest. Extra dialogues. A dialogue. Alright. I feel like we've done everything we could in this area. But we can still talk to people here. Hello! Kid looks up at you. No time, see friend. Wave goodbye now. You wave goodbye. The kid waves back happily. Oh man. House with no flowers is this one here. This one has too many flowers. Oh man. Oh, uh, hello. Is anyone there? We are. But we don't actually have time to talk. Sorry to bother you. <laughs> no problem. Have a good day. Bonnie face. A barrel. It's full of carrots. Oh, hey, Nile. Bonnie face. Did you find some good stuff for tonight? Not much. I did find some flour, though. I know we were running low. Yes! Why are you a friend? Was the flour too heavy? I could have helped. See, friend and I have things to do. Oh. Can I help? I want to help. We're looking for a book. With words in it. No pictures. I am so sorry I cannot help, Dial. I wish you and I wish you the best in all your future endeavors. I will stay here and also do my important things. Like, look at this field. Thank you for your support, Bonnie Face. All right. Hello. Kid dances and doesn't care about you and your old cohort. Hello. 
The little girl making a frog embroidery seems too shy to make eye contact with you. Especially now that you have an older woman with you, which puts you firmly in the big adults category. Hey! Hey, old one! Hey, baby one. Nice one, old lady. How does it feel to be old? Feels nice, I suppose. Huh? Really? Really. I wouldn't go back to being your age, that's for sure. Ha! Huh? Ha! Huh? Crap! I wanna be old too! I wanna be old now! Alright, Dog Dip, but we're going to you. Look at these big some recipes. Hmm. Think we should look at those for Bonnie Face? Wait, should I have been expect inspecting stuff? I mean, I inspected as much as I could. There wasn't really anything else. Alright, hello? Oh! Hello! Antoine, is it? That sure is me! And you're two of the saviors, aren't you? Thank you for all your... D thank you for all you're doing. Best of luck for tomorrow. Thank you. We had a favor to ask. Could we borrow the family tale you possess? For an hour, maybe. Oh, the Paparazzi family tale. I know this means a lot to you, so... Oh no, that's not the problem. I'd be happy to lend it to you. But, well... I think one of the kids next door stole it from me? What? What? Uh, I mean, I'm not saying they're bad kids. They're very nice kids. Very nice. They just... Well... You know the three kids outside? A few weeks ago, they passed by to help me cook some things and... Well... The book is now gone. So, sounds like we should talk to those kids. Good luck? We'll get that book, Odile. Ugh. Let's just go, alright. Hello? Kids. The mill kid with the small hat looks at you from their rock. Their rock throne. Adults! What do you want? See, friend, you handle this. Why you? Why me? You're closer to being a kid than I am. Good luck. Okay. Do you know about family tales? Which one of you stole a family tale? Do you know about family tales? Yeah? What kind of adult doesn't know about family tales? Are you stupid? Man on, you can't ask adults if they're stupid. Can't I? Look at them. They're short. And their hair looks unbrushed. And they look like they haven't slept in weeks. And that hat definitely looks stupid and not cool. See friend, the kid is destroying you. Do something. On principle, you don't get into fights with kids. What to say? Anyway, do you know about a paparazzi family tale? Ah! Uh, Manon, I think he's asking about... Shut up! I got this. The middle kid looks at you as disdainfully as they can. Which is a lot. What if we do? We'd like to borrow it. Trade. A trade! A trade! We have something you do not. Knowledge. Offer us something in exchange. Uh, I have... God, what do I do? A silver coin! Two silver coins! You sadly show the single coin you have in your possession. What kind of adult only has one coin? Are you broke? Denied! Ugh. Here, have five. Silver coins! Four, and I won't tell you, your guardians, that you stole a book. Um, yeah, okay, deal. Um, okay, so I... Menon doesn't have the book anymore. What? 
Listen, Charlene was being really annoying about wanting it, and so I gave it to her so she'd stop crying, okay? Who's Charlene? Um, Charlene... Choquette? The Boulanger's daughter. The what? Huh? I can't help but laugh. <laughs> Look at the old lady's face. See, friend? You jump. We are going. You nod rapidly and follow. Bye, adults. Let's play again soon. On principle, we don't fight kids. On principle, we don't fight kids. But listen, you. The next loop, you're getting booped. Let's play again soon. That was fun. Bye-bye. Good luck with the book. The kid dances and doesn't care about you and your old cohort. Bye. All right, we head all the way back. All the way back. Oh, can we save? The Change God statue. Quite a peculiar figure, don't you think? You shrug. You close your eyes and your single eye eyes. Single eye. Save that. Close that. All done with? Whatever you were doing, just whatever you were just doing. You nod. All right, Monsieur Boulanger. Madame. Hi. Hello. What? Hey. Please do not scare my daughter, Madame. Ugh. You get in front of Odell and smile at the girl. Hi. Hi. We've heard you've got a cool book. A book? Oh! Oh, 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 yes! From Manon! Manon's so nice! She gave me the book! The book with the nice stories! Dad was reading it and now it's mine and I can read it all by myself! But it's boring. I want another book, Papa. Wait, which book are you talking about, Charlene? This one! She shows you all a book with Paparazzi Family Tale written across it. I'm so sorry. It's fine. You got the paparazzi family tale. Finally! You both find a nice silent place to talk. What the hell is this? Huh. Can't believe this took this long. But... Finally. Odal looks at the close family tale book intently. Ah, crap! They said I could keep it until I have to leave Dormant, so I have time, but... She's still looking at it. The family tale book you spent so much time trying to find. It seems important to her, but why? It... Is it related to your research? Sorry, what? The book, is it related to your research? Ah... Hmm, well, I suppose I've kept it secret long enough. Don't tell Isabel, all right? There is no research. I'm not researching anything. Huh? Sorry for not saying anything. Isabel said I must be researching something since I was a traveler here in Vogard. And it felt easier to not say anything. So then, why are you... Why did I leave Kabue? Travel for years, all to find myself in Vogard, if not for some intellectual pursuit? Hmm. Well, I'm actually here in Vogard to find out more about myself. This is a new theme. I suppose it's not very apparent to you, but my mother was Vogardian. Oh! I've lived my whole life in Kabue. My father was Kabuan, and my mother, Vogardian. I have no idea how they met. He never told me, but all I know is that she never wanted a child. She left very early in my childhood, and I never saw her again. Good riddance, if you ask me. But she left and didn't leave anything behind. No pictures, no letter, no family history. But what does it matter, right? 
My father was a good man, and Kabue was my home. I used to think I didn't need to know about my history, about Vugard. But still, a part of me was... curious. And one day, a few years ago, a Vulgardian merchant showed me her wares. And this book that she wouldn't let go of. A book of, fa of tales written by her whole family. A family tale. And she explained family tales to me. Generations of Vulgardian parents writing stories for their children and writing them down in a book. So you'd end up with stories written by an entire lineage. And she was explaining the way the book was written. The rules of this particular way of telling stories. How friendly families shared their stories with each other. And how it had been done for generations. How it brought her closer to her family, her ancestors, her culture. And while she was explaining all this to me, she suddenly stopped. And I was surprised to find out she stopped because I was crying. I didn't even realize it. Because I wanted this. This connection that she had to... To a history that was also supposed to be mine. But it was stolen from me because my mother left. And I'd never have a link to their culture ever. To this culture ever. Unless I went there. So this is why... Hmm. So I traveled to Vogard. And, well, the king took over shortly after I arrived, which did make things more difficult. But during my travels with you all, I got to know many Vogardians and see many Vogardian cities. I got, a, I got to learn more about the country, its culture, its faith, its people. And... I... And I look, and I learn, and... This is the country my mother came from. It's half of me, but... But still. Even now that I'm here in Vogard, I feel no connection to it whatsoever. I don't recognize myself here. Isn't that strange? Half of me should be from here, isn't it? Shouldn't I see something of myself here in the place that my mother came from? Shouldn't it be like something in a mirror? Like a revelation? Shouldn't I see how Vulgardian people act, how they think, and be able to say, Ah, so this is why I'm like this. Shouldn't I be able to call this place mine? But I can't. And it feels awful, like... Like my roots have been cut off without my consent. Like my mother stole it from me. Like I really don't belong anywhere. But... This is why I'm here still. To know as much as I can about this country. And in the meantime, find out if it will make me find out more about myself. And I did find out more about myself during this journey, so I'm glad. It is an interesting question, is it not? How much do you carry of your country, of a culture that should have been yours, but wasn't? It may not seem so to you. But to Kabue, my features are foreign. Just small things. My hair being slightly too thick, my brows too thin. Enough for me to look different here. I am other. So, what about the Vogardians? Would they see me as one of theirs? Would I find myself in them? After coming here, I found out that no. Of course not. Why would I? I've never been here before this journey. But at the same time, I am not the only one who is other. In fact, Vogard is filled with people who also come from other lands. Vogard welcomes people from all over the world, after all. So even if I did not find someone like me, I have found Vogard to be full of people that are similar to me. And I am very grateful for that. Odell's half a guardian. You never knew. She traveled halfway across the world to find out more about herself. Trying to see if she'd find herself in a country she has no memory of. What about you, Seifrin? How are you finding out more about yourself in Vogard? Huh? What do you mean? Well, you didn't grow up in Vogard either, right? Do you have roots here? Or were you just passing through? 
<laughs> hmm, my apologies. Forget I asked. I didn't say anything. You didn't need to. Your face said it all. Just because I'm telling you personal facts about myself doesn't mean you need to tell me anything in return. It was wrong of me to ask. We can forget about it. She goes back to looking at the Family Tales cover. She'd probably be fine leaving it here, just bearing her story to you and nothing else, but... But you... I... I don't remember much about where I'm from, but Al turns to look at you. Huh? Were you too small when you left? Or was it because there was nothing worth remembering? Everything was worth remembering. Neither. But I can relate to you. Trying to find pieces of yourself wherever you can. Trying to find where you belong. Trying to find how your roots might have shaped you. Which parts of you you created and which parts already were. You nod. But you know you're not only made of where you're from, right? If that was the case, everyone in Kabue would be the exact same, and everyone in Vogard would be the exact same. Where you're from matters, yes, but it's not the only thing that makes you, you. That's what I realized during this journey, Sifu. I'm Kabuan and Vogardian, in ways I do and do not realize. And I am also myself. One might say that's more important than being Kaboon and Vulgardian, wouldn't you agree? I do! Ha, <laughs> ah, that's interesting. I feel so much lighter now. Hmm? Because you found a family tale? Yes, and also because we talked, Seafren. Oh! Huh. <laughs> Thank you for listening to me, Seafren. You blush and nod. <laughs> now, get out of here. I have a family tale to read before we all meet for our sleepover. We'll talk later. Go have fun. But Al smiles at you mischievously. You got memory of secret quest. You'll always you'll always remember this, but you might not be able to say it. When equipped, memory of secret quest boosts all of your researcher stats by thirty. Wow. Your researcher also learned skill craft break alpha. Craft break alpha is amazingly strong. When used, it makes an enemy weaker to all craft types for a turn! Few turns! That's even better! It's so strong, you'll only be able to use it when you and your researcher have had this exact conversation. So if you loop back to Dorma, you'll have to talk to her all over again. Remember that, okay? You get up and leave, waving goodbye. Achievement got! Fetch quest! Hang out with Odile! I like it, I like it, I like it, I like it! But wait, hold up! One minute now! Hold on a second. This is memory of... Who? Memory of secret quest. Oh! I can only get the spell if I talk to Odile. I thought it was the memory for a second. So let me see something. Craft break alpha. Make an enemy weaker to all craft types for a few turns. Five turns. Oh, five turn cooldown. But oh my goodness, that's so good! Holy crap! Y'all see that? Did y'all see? Did you see that? That was awesome. Your bell is here, sitting on a bench and looking at papers. Hi, Seafren. Do you need anything? Questions. One second. Nope. Because my voice is feeling rather shot, and I'm going to have to cut this short. But I feel like we got a lot done in this. So we got the papers. We can talk to Mirabelle about the papers? I'm pretty sure I got the papers in the last one. I can't remember. We looked at the papers, did we not? We did, right? 
I can't remember. We'll fig we'll we'll learn in the next one. So thank you everybody. Thank you for joining me. And I'll be back again with some more in Stars and Time.